go have a quick chat with Nate. Sorry for interrupting. <laughs> hey, Nate. What's up? So, how have you? Why have you come down this morning? Uh, I just want to make my uh, presence known. Uh, I just want to make it known that I support the um, saving of the Eagleby wetlands, and I am vehemently against the construction of a motorway through Eagleby. Um, anyone that says it's a motorway to Eagleby is telling porkies it's a motorway through Eagleby, and that is wrong. It's destructive. Um, to our health, physical health, mental health, social health, and environmental health. And so uh, I just want to stand with all the other people in Eagleby that are also, and, and not just Eagleby, there are people from all over that are environmentalists or just are concerned with our ecosystem um, that are also standing up for this cause. And so I'm just, I just want to add my voice to that. Yeah. Excellent. Really appreciate your support Thank and you. the fact that you hang around, unlike some politicians. <laughs> not that you're a politician yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, but I'm I did, doing this irregardless. I, I did of, notice yeah. that there was a conspicuous one that was here for the photo and left rapidly and oh, didn't talk to anyone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, really. No, I'm not a photo op person. I actually get shy of that and I'm, I actually have to tell myself I need to actually be doing that. Well, you do. Yeah, yeah. You do. Know, People need to get to know your I face. Know, I know, I know. <laughs> i got to get out of my Yeah, out of my a little bit. And here's Alan, the awesome Alan, who's been organising lots of stuff around the place. Oh, howdy, so, howdy. so why are you down here today, Alan? Oh, to fight this silly thing from TMR that they're going to put this through all the all the wetlands and people's houses and properties and, and work, and it's putting three bridges up. We only, if they put it over the other side, we only need one bridge. Mm -hmm. So where's our money going? You know, our taxes. So, yeah, it's our tax-paying money uh, is right. being misspent, isn't it? It is. It, it is, is definitely is. that way. Yeah. Excellent. And this is Miss B here. Uh, yeah, yeah. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes. She's uh, not happy with the situation. <laughs> well, no, she would. I would imagine, from animals, the dogs' perspectives, that they would be quite disturbed by loud freeway yeah. noises. Oh, especially this one. Yeah. Because uh, fireworks or anything like that go off, it makes them nervous, and the whole area will get uh, a bit shaky and nervous and stressed yeah. because of that. And not only that, we get stressed. Well, so, we do. We do. So, so uh, totally unfair. That they're doing that without any consultation to let us in on it. It's, yeah, because uh, when was the first time you heard about it? Because you live quite like within 100, 200 metres of the proposed well, road. Yeah, well. When did, how did you hear about oh, the road? Uh, I think it was by word of mouth, as far as I know. So TMR didn't get in touch with you? Not with me, no. The government hasn't contacted no, you at all? We didn't find anything out, not even in the media, nothing. Nothing in the media, just, no, just word of mouth. mouth. Yeah. Until I, yeah, oh, yeah, no, um, we walk this twice a day. And, you know, it's a beautiful place, and I talk to a lot of people in there. Mm -hmm. Bird watchers coming through is one of the best ones around. Well, the whole of Eagleby is uh, through the, the reserves and wetlands. So it just seems like uh, why are we destroying it? You've got Yellowwood Mountains just up there. Uh, that's beautiful to see in the mornings. It reminds me a bit of Tasmania. Ah. So you know, grand. And we're lucky to have this. I mean, if they're going to keep doing that, why don't they build a? Instead of doing that, why they build a double decker down through the M1, like they do in Europe and America, or well, yes. just two roads, extra roads, express roads at three points: Brisbane, uh, Beenleigh, and the Gold Coast. And they're the express ones, the ones that have to travel further, and they get off those three points. So it's so easy, you know. Or even tunnel it. Yeah, or something tunnel it. You know, anything. more public transport, yeah. cheaper public transport. Well. I'll tell you what, public transport, cheaper public transport and faster transport would be better. Uh, being an ex-bus driver, I travel on the uh, busways and at peak hour times they're doing about car park speed and uh, we're flying along at 80 kilometres an hour or 90 kilometres an hour and uh, they're, they're better. Problems. Everybody's home before they are. Yep, so they need to extend the busway right down the coast, don't they? They need to extend it right down <coughs> to the airport and that way everybody will be on that so you've got a choice of two airports and also out to Cleveland as well and all the other areas. A separate busway from the freeway, otherwise it's pointless. So public transport is definitely needed. Yeah, and some bikeways as well. We have a lot of bike way, bike riders coming through here, and uh, yeah, well, that's, excellent. That's me. <laughs> Thank you very much, and we really appreciate your support. Oh, no. And time. everything you've done, you've been amazing. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you've done a fantastic job organising the letterbox drops and all that sort of thing, yeah. helping us to really get the word out and make sure that people know okay. what's happening. Well, that's right. I hope everybody gets on board. And, uh, and um, yeah, express yourself in you know, a yeah, proper way. And, uh, yeah, um, we don't have to go on strike or anything. No, we're, <laughs> so. not, we're not big going on strike. We're not rebellious. We're, not, exactly. we're just normal, ordinary people that want our voices heard yeah. Oh, yeah, that's in right. a respectful, calm, polite way. way. That's right. Yes. No, definitely. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank
Thanks, Alan. We'll catch up with you on Saturday, Saturday. for the Bigfoot Fest. Yep. <laughs> Bye.